an interactive virtual reality system for on-orbit servicing. The growth of space debris is becoming a serious problem. Maintenance, repair, and deorbiting technologies such as on-orbit servicing robonauts are required to tackle this issue properly. We present a virtual reality framework in which it is possible to carry out such missions interactively using an intuitive bimanual human-machine interface. Our bimanual haptic device is composed of two lightweight robot arms. Torque and position sensors are integrated into each joint, enabling both impedance and admittance control. We can operate with a bare hand coupled to the end effector or with several hand interfaces such as the one degree of freedom force feedback interface shown here. The hand interfaces are magnetically attached to the robots. As soon as the magnetic clutch releases, the robots stop immediately. As soon as the dead man pedal is pressed by the user, the human machine interface activates. Our robot viewer augments intuitively the bimanual interfaces with user information such as the robot's target configurations and forces and torques applied on the structure and on the hand interfaces. The user can manipulate the objects in virtual reality, interact with the environment, and feed six degree of freedom contacts while performing the tasks. Current grasping and manipulation are achieved with the one degree of freedom force feedback device attached to the wrists of the bimanual haptic device. One possible task in our simulation is replacing a broken module. For that, the user has to carry out several subtasks. These are turn off the switch related to the broken module, grasp the handle with a gripper, and remove the module from its cavity. This action shows the interaction possibilities between tools. A collision detection algorithm based on the voxel map point shell algorithm is used. The voxel map point shell algorithm is able to perform with 1 kHz update rate and works with two data structures. Voxel maps, which are voxelized distance fields, and point shells, which are uniformly distributed point clouds with inwards pointing normal vectors. In order to generate a voxel map, first the original object is set into a 3D grid. Second, the set of voxels that collides with the surface is detected. And finally, the Euclidean distance from each voxel center to the object surface is stored in each voxel. In order to generate the point shell, the centers of the surface voxels are projected onto the object surface, optimizing their location for uniformity. Inwards pointing normals are computed for each point. Additionally, the points are clustered according to the relative distance and ordered into a tree. The parent point of each cluster is a child of the upper level. In our tree, each level samples the whole object with a different resolution. A sphere tree is also created to minimally bound the clusters of the point tree. The sphere in the uppermost level bounds all the points of the hierarchy. Checking the collision of this bounding sphere significantly reduces computation when objects are far from each other. As soon as objects make contact, our algorithm rapidly traverses the sphere hierarchy to find the colliding region. The points in this region are checked for collision in a level of detail manner. The collision force computation is penalty based. Whenever a point shell point is detected to be inside a solid voxel, the stored scalar penetration values of its voxel neighbors are read and interpolated to obtain the penetration of the point. This scalar penetration multiplied by the point normal yields a single force. The sum of all single forces yield a total collision force. Here we can see the partial data structures superimposed onto the objects in the scenario. We implemented a logic module which monitors the states of and between all the objects in the scene. In this example, the logic detected that the handle was grasped by the gripper. Several decisions can be made depending on the complexity of the simulation. The objects that are not manipulated via the haptic device are controlled by a physics engine. Our platform can be used to verify, train, and teach robotic systems to interact appropriately in space environments.